want to confirm that the TSL will continue in 2019 and beyond. Um, we've come to an in-principle agreement that's been reached by the majority of the clubs and we're just really excited and want to share that with you. There's still some details to be finalised, but we've reached a point where we just feel like we want to walk together, we want to move forward and we're going to play some football, which is really important for us. We still have further detail that we need to work through, um, which we're going to do over the coming weeks, but this was a really important step for us to land where we think in a real fair way and we'll move forward and discuss that we've named quite a few things that we need to still discuss and we've agreed that those are our priorities moving forward. The competition, which were some of the things that came up in the media um, over the last week or so, so we just want to confirm that there would be an app and filming of the games. Um, the TSL name will stay as it is. There was some talk about potentially changing the name, but it was the clubs came back really strongly and said that they would like to keep the name as it is, and I think that's fair, so let's play on as the TSL. Um, we've talked about that the Mercury Cup, there'll be no age limit, so that's another thing to do with the competition. And we've just put some special conditions that we're continuing to discuss, and one of those is about the Northwest region, and that will become the responsibility of AFL Tasmania to ensure that we resource the Northwest community and assist them in their game development. Certainly from Lloyd Alpha Football Cup's perspective, we're pretty pleased about um, today. Um, the, the processes that we've been through have been robust, interesting at times, quite lengthy, and there have been some very um, spirited discussions with the steering committee and AFL TAS, but we've got some common ground now, which is really important. I think the most important thing is that the State League has been recognised by AFL as a Tier 1 competition, rather than comparing it to a regional competition in Victoria. So that's why I think it's really important for us to have the TSL recognised as the best football being played in Tasmania. And they've chosen to fund that. So um, we're pretty positive. There's devil in the detail, of course, and that's going to be sorted out because we've all agreed on those details to be discussed going forward. So we're all pretty confident. Even the two clubs that haven't agreed at the moment certainly are pretty pleased that the licensing will continue. And again, they just need time to, I suppose, understand the details about all that. One, one thing that we did discuss yesterday and that I've um, given to the TSL clubs is that we would actually negotiate the KPIs with each individual club. So I know that it was reported that it would be collectively, but what, we're, what we'll do from here is actually negotiate them with each club because each club is different, each club is structured different, each club has a different amount of geography, young people to work with, so we want to make sure that that's really fair as well. So each club will have a separate set of KPIs? Yes. Yeah, so they'll be negotiated. The negotiation path that we need to work through now, um, probably before the start of next season, are not deal breaker initiatives. It's just the mechanics of how it all fits together and how the structure is going to work. We're really mindful of the fact that we've been, we, we have no vision of the major announcements as a result of the steering committee, which, you know, when, when they come out, We'll get more clarity on how it fits together and how the whole system is going to work. So, um, essentially, from a, from a group of, of TSL presidents, we um, agree with the core of um, the of the plan moving forward, um, which essentially means that now we we have trust in in the system. We have trust that we can confidently work together um, to to make it all fit together um, for, for a successful um, competition moving forward. In favour of the two cells, is it ever in your mind that maybe it wasn't the way forward? Uh, with my role in the steering committee, I had to consider all the options that we did discuss. And as we know, we've been really open about that there were options that didn't include the TSL. But I am really happy to be sitting here today to say we're going forward with the TSL. I think it plays an important part in footy in Tasmania. And I really value my relationships with the TSL clubs. And so that was something really important for us to do today.